Hello, my name is Marjorie Williams, and I am a food and travel writer based in Cambridge, Massachusetts, but I travel all over the world, and I just published my new book, Markets of Provence. This is the, the little book. And I had the great opportunity today to watch Chef Crayon here at Restaurant La Voile in Brookline, Massachusetts, prepare ratatouille, which is a very classic dish of Provence, but he has prepared it in the most innovative way. So it's such a, he's created such a beautiful, beautiful and tasty plate. One of the reasons that this is one of my favorite recipes to eat when I'm in Provence is because it is so typical of the Provençal flavors. It's filled with the Mediterranean fishes and vegetables and the savory scents and flavors of, of Provence. Now, a beauty of this recipe is that all of the ingredients that you see here on this plate that the chef worked with, all of them are available at the markets in Provence. And one of the great pleasures of shopping in Provence is the diversity of the items that you can find at the market. So you can find the freshest fish, which had just been swimming in the Mediterranean earlier that morning, to the artichokes, to the uh, aubergine, the eggplant, and the zucchini, and all, even down to the herbs, the rosemary, which is a very, very local herb that is grown uh, very commonly in Provence. So all of these flavors um, and all of these ingredients are very easily found in the Provence mar Provençal markets. And of course, one of the bedrock items of any good Provençal recipe is garlic, which of course the chef used very deliberately and very well in this recipe, as well as the olive oil. And some of my, my personal favorite olive oil is from Provence. It's from Les Beaux region of Provence. And so it was a pleasure to see the chef work with these ingredients that are so familiar to me from the Provençal markets. When I travel, I'm interested in food and I'm interested in local culture, and that's true wherever I go. And what I have learned from all of my travels is markets is where those two come together. Because at a market, it's a view into the local culture and the foods that, the, that are grown locally and that the people like to eat and how they shop and how they negotiate. It's all on display at the markets, and that is true almost anywhere in the world, but it's especially true in France and in the region of Provence, where markets have been part of the local culture for centuries. Now, the tricky thing about the markets in Provence, though, is the timing, because most of the markets are open only one morning a week. And so if you show up at the wrong, t the wrong day or the wrong hour of the right day, you're very prone to miss the markets. And that's really why I think that that's the greatest value of a book like this, that it helps ensure that you're in the right place at the right time so that you don't miss the glorious markets that are throughout Provence. Now, the book is organized by day of the week to make it very easy to, to identify which options are available to you any given day of the week. And it's a curated selection of markets. I've visited hundreds of markets in the region, and I narrowed those down to the 30 markets that I consider to be the best in Provence. And that's a combination of food markets, as well as flea and antique markets, and some of the other specialty markets, such as the black truffle markets, which are such a joy to, to visit and, and to taste some of the black truffle dishes if you happen to be in Provence in the winter time. When traveling, whether in Paris or in, you're in Provence or any other region of France or the world for that matter, I believe that markets are really an invitation to explore different parts of the region. So that if you're in Provence, if you go from one market in, let's say, the town of Bagneux to another market in the town of Apt, and these towns are not very far from each other, but you're going to find very different local specialties in each of those places that you won't find anywhere else. And markets are an invitation to explore these different regions, the different terroirs, the different local specialties of Provence. So I encourage you to accept the invitation and go visit as many markets as you can while you're in Provence. Enjoy.